to be talking about five favorites and one regret for the month of March. March is such a long month with 31 days and February is such a short month with 28, 29 days, but February feels like it goes on forever. And this year in March, and I think it's how the dates fell, there were less weekends, I felt like March, like I blinked and it was gone. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about five items that I have absolutely loved throughout the month of March and one item that I regret that I'm gonna to touch base kinda of quickly on. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of information on that. So if you like this style of video and would like to see more things like this, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here. I am 48 years old and my focus of my channel is beauty, fashion, and lifestyle for the over 40. Well, I'm 48, I'm getting closer to the 50 than I am to the 40, but I like to find items that make me feel good in my own skin and with who I am, and I want to share that with you as well. I will also mention I do more in-depth day-to-day things over on my Instagram. So if you would like to follow along with that, I will put the link down below. I do want to mention that next week, a week from today on Friday, is the Friday before Easter that I celebrate. And I am going to take the week off for doing videos. We're actually heading out this Friday to go to Cape Cod and we're gonna be staying there for about a week and a half. So I'm just gonna take the time to decompress, enjoy spring break with my family, and just have a good time. So I hope you guys are able to do the same. But for now, let's jump right into these five things. The first, three, two, one. The first thing, guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it because I've gotten so many comments about it. It is so good, guys. This is beautiful. It is a handbag. It is from the brand Teddy Blake, and it is actually called the Kim Croc 11 Yellow. So, so good, guys. It has clips in the front where you can unclip it and go across, and then you open up and you can see into the inside. I have the strap inside. You can actually use that instead of just on the handle. You can use it as a crossbody as well. This bag is definitely more of a structured style bag, but I am in love with both the color and the style of this bag. It does have the feet on the bottom if you set it down anywhere. It is so, so, so well made. If you are not familiar with Teddy Blake, they are a brand that uses premium Italian leather, similar to the luxury brands, at a more affordable price. Typically, a luxury brand is gonna be $1,000, $2,000 for a bag. Their bags typically are under the $1,000 mark, and I will mention here as well, they were kind enough to give me a $30 off and free shipping code that I will put down below for you guys. They essentially use Italian designers and they use that same craftsmanship as a lot of luxury brands in the same Italian factories. I started following along with them. I will put their information down in my description box because they actually come out with a new collection monthly. This one just spoke to me for spring. It is just so stunning. I love a good pop of color in through the spring and summer. All you have to do, you can have a totally neutral outfit and just have a pop of color in something like a handbag. I get compliments on this right and left. I actually typically am like a crossbody bag girl and I actually prefer carrying this one with the handle. It just looks so, so expensive and so nice. It is a more structured bag, as I mentioned. It's a little bit stiffer. It's not your like super soft canvas style that you a lot of people are used to. It is so well made. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I will mention there is no back pocket on it. I had had some people asking me that over on Instagram, so I wanted to make sure I mentioned that here. But these bags are stunning. And I'm talking about a pop of color, this next item, guys. Whoo! Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. These are from Mark Fisher. I forget the name of it, I'll put it over here. I picked the one that's in this like bright kind of plummy, purpley pink color. I love the pointed toe. They do run true to size. I got it in a size eight and a half. As you can see, I have already worn them. But here's what else I love about it. It is a, it's either a suede or a faux suede, but look at this heel. 
How cool is that? It is more of a plastic finish. It has a high shine to it. It starts in thinner and then it goes out wider, which actually for walking is so crazy comfortable. The whole shoe is very soft, very comfortable. These are $150, which isn't super cheap, but isn't super expensive. It's a good mid range. I actually, actually, I wore these together in a photo. I'll put it over here to the side. I wore these actually paired together. I love that you can mix some colors in. It is just so fun. It, again, just what I talked about, that pop of color going in through spring and summer. I love that these like bright colors are making their way back this year. I love, love, love a good like neon or bright color. I just, as soon as I saw these, they come in a gorgeous Kelly green too. As soon as I saw these in this color, I knew I had to have it. I was like, Ooh, I wore it in that photo you just saw with a pair of joggers, but oh my gosh, with those like 90s style, like pinched waist jeans I have. Oh, I can't wait to style these. I had pictured getting them for wearing with like a 90s style of jean, but then I wore them with the joggers and absolutely loved it that way too. I will be wearing these nonstop. The next item I'm going to talk to you guys about, if you are not aware of this, Sephora currently has their spring sale going on. It was open to Rouge and then VIB was this past, I think, Tuesday. And I think now it is open to insiders as well. If you need some ideas, I will post up here somewhere a link. I did a full get ready with me, pretty much the look you're seeing on me now, except for without the lashes over on my channel last week with lots of my every day must have go-to suggestions that I love from Sephora. Also over on my like to know it, I have a collage of items broken down by like foundation, concealer, primers, blush, bronzer, powders, like brushes, everything over on my like to know it. Buy the items and my top favorite items that they sell in each of those categories. So if you're interested, go check it out. But what I wanna to talk to you about right now is these. Oh my gosh, I got these in through a PR package through Laura Mercier, and I think they're called like the lip glazes or something like that. I picked up another one with the Sephora sale for myself. So these are, I think I got five in. I have a whole reel, I'll post it over here somewhere for you guys, that I actually put the products on. So I think this one is vanilla, I think this one is rose, and this one is baby doll are my three that I absolutely love of the ones I got. I just cannot get enough of them. So they are stunning on here. I'll put on rose right now because I already had a little bit on. So kind of reminiscent of that, but not in a squeeze tube in a doe foot applicator because it has that little bit of a vanilla scent. It goes on and feels more like a lip balm on. It's and, But it's still super glossy, but it doesn't have that like tacky glossiness to it. So smooth, so hydrating, so nice. I just cannot say enough good things about them. If you are picking up things through this spring sale right now, guys, grab one of these. You will not regret it. It is so good. Next item I want to talk to you guys about is a new jewelry brand I found out. Can you see? I've got these two necklaces on right here. I have a ring and a pair of earrings I am wearing from them. It is the brand Miranda Fry. Over the years, I have tried all different kinds of jewelry brands and how I missed this brand. I've heard people talk about it. I've seen people talk about it, but for some reason I never got any myself or tried it myself and I don't know why. And so I picked up, I got on one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, technically seven things from them right now. It's that good. You will have seen probably this actual set I have been wearing nonstop. So it's actually one, two, three, four pieces. So it is more of an open linked necklace that I have a little bit shorter. Then it's more of a traditional, I'll put all of the names down below in the description because they have specific names, a longer chain and then the charm separately. And you might be saying that's only three items. What are you talking about? The fourth one is, I will put a photo in here of it. It's a clip that actually you clip your necklaces onto and it keeps them so they don't get tangled. Oh my gosh, this is game changing. I love the look of layered necklaces, but I don't wear them because I hate when they get tangled and they get twisted and I'm like doing this all day to straighten it. Oh my gosh, 
how did I not know about this? It is so good. My necklaces stay right like this all day long. It is so fun and so good. I now love layering necklaces. I need more of those clasps because I can do so many combinations with it. It has three hooks on it, so you can add any mixture. I only have two of them on right now. You can do two, you can do three, whatever you want. I am obsessed with it. I also want to show you, I picked up these rings. So there's three of them here, and they are completely separate. I'll show you. Three separate ones right here that you're seeing. So you see two yellow golds and a silver. This is actually two sets of rings. So I got two separate sets. One is completely gold with these same three. One is completely silver with these same three. And I just mixed one of the pieces up to make it a mixed metal to go with the rest of my jewelry a little bit better. I like mixing metals, it's what I like. So this is actually two sets of rings that I mixed and matched on my own. Now these earrings, they were on clearance, so hopefully they're still available. I'm obsessed with them. They are the lightest earrings I think I have ever worn. I don't even realize I feel like I'm wearing them. They are that light. They are just beautiful. They were originally, I think, in the $70 range and they were marked down. They actually on Instagram had contacted me and they offered me a discount code of 10% off and free shipping. So I will put that code down here somewhere and I will also put it down in the description box if you are interested in picking anything up. If you only pick up one thing, guys, pick up that necklace separator. Oh my gosh, it's game changing. It is so good. How did I not know about that before now? On to the next item, since I'm showing you kind of this, I'm gonna show you, actually, wait. Okay, I've got six items this month, I'm sorry. How did, usually I try to do five. I just realized I have six things that I wanted to talk about. We're gonna go with six. We'll have an exception this month. All right, so I have on this graphic tee, if you can see right here, it's super bright, colorful, great for spring. And actually, actually the photo you guys saw, I had it on with this bag and these shoes. I, and this necklace set. And actually these earrings. Okay, that's kind of funny. So what I'm gonna to talk to you about is graphic tees. I have what I call my uniform, right? If I, I'm not like going out to a dinner or something, just at my everyday uniform, my fail safe, what I can go to and I know I feel great in, spring, summer, and fall, is a graphic tee, a jean jacket, and either a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings and a pair of sneakers. Exactly what I have on today. It is my fail safe. I feel amazing. I feel like a million bucks in it. And I have over the years bought so many different graphic tees and they're always good. I like them. There's never been a brand that I loved. The first brand that I found that I really liked was a brand from Nordstrom. Gosh, I bought some last year during the anniversary sale and I wish I could remember the name. I'll put it down below here somewhere. But I got two, I think, during the sale. And I think it was like Dreamers or something like that was the name. I picked up two of them and they're very nice. They're more boxy style and they're not as long as I typically like them but they're expensive. They are not an inexpensive graphic tee. They're just, they're really pricey and they didn't hold up. It stretched out, it lost its shape and it was already a little boxy. It just, as much as I liked the graphics they did, the material was super soft in the beginning. It didn't stay soft and it didn't keep its shape. It just wasn't worth the money for me. So I had heard about this brand called Sassy Queen Boutiques is this t-shirt I have on here. And I had heard about it on Instagram through my friends, Lindsay and Marissa have both talked about them and worn them. And I was like, I always loved them when I saw them. So I asked both of them about them and I placed an order. And that was maybe like September, October. And I got them in, I ordered the t-shirts in a size large. I think I ordered like four or five t-shirts and a sweatshirt. And I used my friend's discount code and I loved them. They were so soft, they fit great. They weren't too short, they weren't too long. They were just so, so, so nice. I had ordered them in a size large and they fit great. I didn't have any problems with it. And then I was talking to my girlfriends in between and I kind of was like asking questions about them and their thoughts and things like that. And I think it was Marissa that said to me, I'll put both of their links down below for you guys too, by the way. But I think it was Marissa that said that the length, because I don't like a short graphic tee. I'm in my 40s. Like I want to cover my butt. I don't want like everything hanging out. 
And she had mentioned to me that the length, because these are unisex, the length is the same in the medium and large. It's the width of it that is different. And so when I placed my next order, I got them in a medium to see how the differences were. And I loved the medium too, because it wasn't too tight and like too, you know, like sucked in type of t-shirt. It still was that loose graphic tee, but it wasn't like an oversized frumpy graphic tee. It just fit beautifully. And even the large wasn't like oversized or frumpy, but I liked the medium for things like tucking into a skirt, into a pair of joggers, into even a pair of jeans or pants. And I liked the large for wearing with like leggings. So at that point I had gotten multiple t-shirts and a few of the sweatshirts. I think they call their sweatshirts sweaters, but I love them. I was wearing them right and left. The brand saw that I was wearing them and tagging them on Instagram. They contacted me and gave me a discount code as well. It is Lisa Life and the symbol and style. And I think you get 10% off your order. And it's not just like your first order, it's any orders that you place. And I now, I would say I easily have probably now 20, 25 of their t-shirts and probably five of their sweatshirts. I recently actually just the other day got in, I got six. They're all band tees. They're different band tees. So like, can you see the Nirvana one? And I think there's a Guns N' Roses and things like that. And I got three of them in medium and three of them in large. And I was thinking I might do a reel over on my Instagram kind of showing the differences between those in the size. And as I mentioned, I like the medium for more like structured styles and I like the large for more like when I'm wearing that comfortable leggings and a t-shirt and a jean jacket type of look but these tees guys so they stay soft they keep their shape they have not faded I just I do not think I will buy another graphic tee brand I used to always buy graphic tees from like J Crew from Target where was the other one there was somewhere else and then Nordstrom but like there were some others that were like around this price point of these ones. I will not go back, guys. They are that good. It is crazy how much I love them. If you follow my Instagram, it'll be of no shock to you that I love them. You will see them all over. I wear them that much. So the number six item kind of is in conjunction with those tees that I was talking about and my uniform that I wear. I always am in, as I mentioned, some form of graphic tee, jean jacket, and either jeans or leggings. And today I have on a pair of jeans with a graphic tee and a jean jacket. This one's cute because it's got like a puff sleeve to it. This is a black or it's kind of a black acid wash, so it kind of looks a little gray uh, jean jacket. I don't remember what the brand is. I'll put it down below. Uh, this is from Amazon. I found it, I think, last year through Amazon. Now, I'm a child of the 80s, as I mentioned, and to me, I just can't wrap my brain around wearing blue jeans with a blue jean jacket. You know, that whole, like, I don't know if they still call it denim cowboy look. I just can't, my brain, it can't wrap around that. So I love a black jean jacket or denim jacket to wear when I don't feel like wearing leggings in a graphic tee, but I want to wear jeans but I don't wanna wear all blue jeans with a jean jacket and all that. I love a good black jacket for that. And I love just this one with that little puff sleeve. I also have a Madewell, um, it's just a classic black jean jacket. Now this one that I have on probably hits right above the hips and that black Madewell one hits like in the middle of my hips. So it depends on what I'm wearing, what style I need and where it hits as far as length. I like to have some bigger, longer, kind of more trucker style for lack of a better term. And then some more, this is not what I would use the word cropped, but it is definitely, I'm hippier, it hits me at the right spot. And so I just like the look of a black jean jacket with this style with jeans on. Now, if I'm wearing leggings, I love, love, love a blue denim jacket. And I have two that I absolutely love. Actually kind of similar. One is more of a little bit longer, but not a long one. And one is a little bit shorter. This first one is from a brand called Jag. It's just a blue denim jacket. I will say with this one, guys, the amount of stretch in this one. I wear this one year round. I put sweatshirts underneath of it. I put a vest over it. I layer with this one. This one is so, so, so crazy comfortable. This is one that I originally purchased at a little boutique in Cape Cod. 
and I had had it for years. It was my favorite jean jacket, and I must have washed it with something in the pocket. Like, I don't know if it was a candy or a wrapper, or I don't know, and it stained the pocket. I tried everything to get it off, and I couldn't. So I started, I was like nervous. I was like, oh God, it's my favorite jean jacket. I started Googling it and I found it on Amazon. So I bought another one and this is the one that I just, I wear this one. If you told me I could only keep one, it would honestly be that one. It is so good. I do get it, have it in a, get it in a size large because I had to get multiples, but I do have it in a size large. It is so good. There's no like distressing, no acid wash, anything like that, but it is so nice. And then my other favorite jean jacket is from Free People. This one's more of like an acid wash type of look. Has neat sleeve details, some buttons down at the bottom. It's just really, really cute, really well done. This one is a little bit shorter than this one that I had. No, not the one I have on, the one that I just showed you, the other one. Uh, actually, I have this one, the Free People one, on in the outfit with this necklace, this shirt, the bag, and the shoes. That's just showing you how much I loved it last month, right? I wore them all together. I loved them all so much. <laughs> but I love these. The more cropped ones I like. Not cropped. Again, that's the wrong word. The shorter of my two. I like those for with like joggers and not like as straight of a leg jean because you know how joggers kind of go out around your hips and my hips are already hippy. I like those to just kind of because it just kind of all runs together. Whereas the longer ones kind of sit at a funny point and looks a little cut off. I just love a good jean jacket and graphic tee together. Now I do own also the Jag jacket that I talked to you guys about. The one that I got at Amazon in white. I keep that at the Cape House because I do wear it most in the summertime. Uh, love, love, love it. It's so nicely made. It's not a thin white. It washes well. It doesn't see through. I absolutely love it. If you need a white jean jacket, that's a great one to get. I think it comes in other colors too, come to think of it. And actually, I think this one that I have on comes in other colors too. I think it comes in a blue, but I'm not sure. So those are all of my favorites for the month, technically six of them. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Usually I'm pretty good at keeping it as five. Now I'm going to talk to you about my regret, but I'm going to talk to you kind of quickly about my regret because it's the same regret as last month. And that is the Dyson air wrap. I am so torn on this guys. I am really, really, really struggling. If you love it or hate it, tell me your story below. I just am really struggling. It's like one day I'm like, I'm sending it back. And the next day I'm like, I'm keeping it. And here is why. So it has a blow dryer slash hairbrush option to it, which I love because I don't blow dry my hair from soaking wet. I tend to dry it from damp. I love it. It makes my hair feel so beautiful. It feels so shiny. It feels so healthy. I absolutely love the brush version of it. The curling iron part. I just do not like it. It gives me like these curly 80s curls. I just don't like it. The ends are like tucked in and they're like super curled up and it's like this and like oh it just doesn't work on me it makes me not necessarily look older but i feel older because i feel like i'm reverting back to an old hairstyle i don't know it might be all in my head but i tend to dry my hair with a with the blow dry brush and then I curl it with my bioionic curling iron that I talked about in my Sephora video, which is what you guys always see. And it gives me the results I want in less time. When I use that Dyson, it takes me forever. My problem is the part that I love about the blow dryer, I can't just buy the blow dryer because it doesn't have the brush option. But is it really worth the price tag of 500 plus dollars for a blow dryer with a brush attached to it? I just, I just can't. I just, my brain can't wrap around that number. That's why I keep saying I need to send it back, but then I keep it. So as I mentioned, we're going away this Friday. I think I'm going to make the decision by when I get back after Easter, make a call, just stick to it, make a decision, say that's it, and just either send it back or keep it and just be done with it. I need to stop complaining about it and talking about it. <laughs> I'm getting sick of thinking about it and hearing about it, so I'm sure you guys are too, but that really is my regret for the month because I regret that I got it and I can't make a decision on it. So if you have any information, if you've seen, I've watched so many videos about how to use it, 
If you have seen something that was your aha moment with this thing, let me know. I need all the help I can get. If you are missing catching up with me next week when I don't have a video up, go check out my Instagram. I'll be sharing all my stories and photos and reels and things like that over on my Instagram. And if you liked this style of video, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here. I do do this video every month. Typically, I only have five favorites, not six like today. So thank you so much, guys, for watching and sticking with me and have a great day.